Alright everyone, so today we are going to do a wear test review the whole shebang for the Wet n Wild catsuit. This has been on my list to review since I've heard of it and in my surrounding area I've got two different drugstores and an Ulta, all three of which did not have this line for the longest time. Like these came out months and months ago. But I finally got two in my possession. I have Nice to Fuchsia, which is what I am wearing today, and then I also have Nudist Peach. So when I got these home, I swatched them on the back of my hand. This was yesterday. I've taken a shower and washed my hands probably like four times since then, and it has not come off. So it is just shy of noon. It's 11.52, and I am going to show you the whole application process while I read to you what Wet n Wild says about this lipstick. What glides on like butter, feels like a second skin, and won't budge. Our liquid catsuit matte lipstick, made with glammed out superpowers, it goes on glossy, yet transforms into a high pigmented matte finish, with some serious staying power. Read our lips, this color is going nowhere. It also says, it glides on glossy and transforms into high pigmented matte finish. It's a lightweight formula made with serious staying power and it has intense pigmentation without drying the lips. So my first feeling right off the bat, and I noticed this when I swatched them, is they feel almost like they have like a rubberized finish to them. Normally I'd feel like a matte lipstick has that super dry, like nothing sticks to it, just kind of, I don't want to say chalky or powdery, but you know that matte lipstick finish. This has a very slight stick to it, like your lips will very slightly stick together. It's not nearly as bad as the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks, where your lips like really stick together, like. I can talk and it's not uncomfortable, it's not noticeable, but if you really press your lips together it does kind of stay. This particular shade is bringing me back like four years ago, right when we first moved to New Orleans, I was obsessed with Kat Von D's uh, Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Bauhaus and this shade is near to exactly the same. Let me... So I've grabbed them and you can see they are pretty darn close. The color is not perfectly exactly the same in the tube, but it's pretty darn close. The catsuit liquid lipstick comes out slightly lighter than it looks in the tube, so they might be an exact dupe. Judging by the fact that I have had these guys on the back of my hand for hours and hours and hours on end, I imagine this is going to be a very long wearing lipstick. So no concerns there. And it is very comfortable, like I can move my lips, it doesn't feel like it's gonna like crackle off, and it does have a matte finish, so it's starting off super strong, but we shall see how it wears throughout the rest of the day. And I will check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, so I just want to do a little color comparison between this Wet n Wild cat suit uh, in Nice to Fuchsia and the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Bauhaus. So this first swatch is the Wet n Wild cat suit in Nice to Fuchsia, and the second swatch is Kat Von D's Bauhaus. So this shade is the Wet n Wild cat suit, and it's ever so slightly more purple toned than the Kat Von D Bauhaus, which has almost like a more pink or red undertone. All right, so here we are at 410. It's a little over four hours. Well, it's closer actually to like four and a half hours of wear. And this lipstick is still killing it. It is like really firmly affixed to my lips. The only areas I'm having issues with are the outer corners and the little bit of the inner edge of the top lip. But otherwise from that, it's like wearing stunningly well. I'm expecting this one is going to wear basically all day long and at some point in time I wanted to take a bath today. We are Today is the day of like the bomb cyclone which sounds so scary but it's really just like super cold weather and snowing in places where it snows so in New Orleans it's just like extra cold today. So I'm like the I have two sweaters on and just like the kind of level of cold where I feel like unless I get into a hot bath I'm never going to feel like like fully warm but I also have a feeling like this lipstick is going to last longer than that so I feel like I'm just gonna have to take off the rest of my makeup leave the lipstick and see <laughs> see how long it goes probably should have started this one a little earlier in the day but that is it for right this second I will check back in at the end of the day maybe with makeup on maybe without who knows if I'll have wet hair we'll find out all right pardon the shaky vlog camera style ending here but it is 8 40, which means that I have been wearing this lipstick for over nine hours now and it's still kicking ass. Obviously it's starting to wear off quite a bit from the inside portion of my lips and the kind of lower lip line is, it's not bleeding but it's a little bit fuzzy. But overall it's really not looking that bad. I think I'm going to go back 
and find maybe more of like a rosy shade and have that be a contender for a wedding lipstick. That is all that I have for you guys today. Go to lipstickaday.com. You can see the full write-up and review for more information, and I will see you next time.